Welcome to another Beekeeper's Buzz for the month of August in the Northeast region. I'm Kim and it's good to see you again. In the Northeast region of the U.S., August is a critical transitional month. While it may still feel like summer, the bees are already preparing for fall and winter. So I'm going to give you a detailed look at what's happening inside and around the hive for this month. Number one, nectar dearth. Major nectar sources are drying up. Many of the big summer blooms like clover and basswood are finishing or have already finished in your area. Bees may become more defensive or even, even rob other hives due to limited forage. Beekeeper tip, watch for signs of robbing such as fighting uh, around hive entrances or bees circling other hives. You can use entrance reducers if necessary, or even robbing screens. You may notice too that your typically mild-mannered colony seems a little more agitated, more aggressive than they had been all summer. And this is not to worry about. It is normal this time of year, and it's best to just wear your PPE and have your smoker on hand, ready to go. Smoking yourself and your suit before heading out to your apiary can help a lot. And when checking your hives, you will want to make sure you have a queen right colony. If there is any late summer queen failures that can go unnoticed, it can be detrimental to the hive in the fall and winter. You'll want to introduce a mated queen as soon as possible, best before early September. And Man Lake is still selling mated queens throughout the summer. So please give us a call and we can help you get a queen quickly. A couple other common behaviors you might notice this time of year are bearding and something called washboarding. So bearding is when bees gather in large numbers on the outside of the hive. You might be able to see behind me. Um, often forming a beard-like cluster. This usually happens on warm, humid afternoons and evenings. During swarm season, bearding could be alarming but as of right now, it's most likely due to temper temperature regulation or high population in the hive. Um, not to say there won't be any late season swarms though, even in September. Washboarding is when bees line up in rows on the front of the hive and rock back and forth in unison, appearing to clean the surface. So why does this happen? Well, exact reasons are unknown, but likely they could be actually cleaning the surfaces of the hive, or perhaps it's a behavioral response to high population and low foraging activity. Number two, brood nest changes. The queen's egg laying slows down as the colony prepares to reduce its size for winter. The colony be begins producing winter bees, bees with larger fat bodies and longer lifespans that will live through winter. Number three, pollen collection. Bees are still collecting pollen from late summer plants like goldenrod, joe pieweed, or asters, which would be late August into September, just to name a few. Pollen is crucial for raising winter bees. Only during August do you want the bees to keep raising brood for strong winter bees. Number four, Varroa mite pressure peaks. August is the height of Varroa mite infestations. High mite loads now will weaken the hive going into fall and winter. So you'll want your mites to be taken care of by the end of August. And since honey super should have been pulled by now, You'll have a wider variety of mite treatments available to use. Just watch out when using Formic Pro this time of year. Temperature should not reach above even 80 degrees, at least for the first three days, as it could risk queen loss or delayed egg laying. Beekeeper tip, do a mite count, a sugar shake or an alcohol wash, and treat if thresholds are exceeded treat early enough to allow healthy winter bees to develop. Number five, honey stores assessment. By late August, the hive should have at least 40 to 60 pounds of honey stored for winter in most parts of the Northeast. If stores are low, begin feeding ProSuite. Ensure bees are well fed in the summer months. 
And number six, population decline begins. The hive begins reducing its population in preparation for the colder months. Drones, which are the male bees, may start being expelled from the hive by the worker bees. However, despite the bees gearing up for winter, it's still hot out there. It's hot. <laughs> Don't forget to provide a water source nearby for them. We sell a really cool floating bee island that provides a safe way for bees to land on so they can drink without drowning. I actually have one for my bird bath and it's right in the center of my garden. There's always a lot of bees on it. So just to sum up what to do as a beekeeper in August for the Northeast region, you'll want to monitor and treat for Varroa mites. You'll want to check food stores and feed if light. You'll want to reduce entrances to prevent robbing. And you'll want to start preparing for fall inspections and winter prep. So check out our website or ask Bella, our AI assistant, what you may need to purchase for the winter months. And please remember that I, as well as many other knowledgeable sales reps, are available to place orders with you and offer assistance on purchasing any items you may need. So give us a call, 800-880-7694, and get ahead of the game by ordering your winter supplies now. You know as well as I do how quickly the weather can change around here. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to see all the videos we have available. You can even find videos and blogs on the Man Lake website. If you have any questions or comments for us, or if there's anything you'd like to know for the month of September, please let us know below. I always enjoy reading your comments. I hope you enjoy the rest of your summer and watching your bees. Their behavior is so interesting and fun to watch, isn't it? Bye.